like all tools and systems, human design can be misinterpreted at misinterpreted as limiting. One of the biggest misconceptions that I have come across regarding the human design system is that being more open or more defined is better or worse. Now, let me say this again. None of this is right or wrong. None of it is better or worse, and none of it is good or bad. It's all just information to help us get to know ourselves and our strengths better. Simply put, open centers are where we experience the themes of that center or those centers through the experiences of our environment and those in it. And defined centers are where we experience those themes through our own internal awareness. When it comes to limiting beliefs around this tool. One example of open or defined being better or worse is this conclusion that having an open solar plexus means that you are empathetic and having a defined solar plexus means that you're not. And I love this example because 50% of the population is defined in the solar plexus and 50% of the population is undefined in the solar plexus. So it really is a clear one is not better or worse because it's a 50-50 split. Now the key highlight here is that empathy is beyond just emotion. So yes, the solar plexus is the emotional center. However, we experience others highs and lows through a variety of different ways. We just narrow it to, oh, that's an emotional experience, but it could be another theme. As an example, you may actually have a defined solar plexus. You feel your own emotions. You have your own emotional experience as you move through your life, but you may have an open G center. And an open G center can be your own experience of identifying who you are and your identity in the external world and within yourself, but it could also be a way that you pick up on someone else's uncertainty around how they're showing up in a situation. There are also elements of the human design system that help us to understand if we're here to have a personal experience or if we're here to have an interpersonal experience. And again, neither is right or wrong. For some of us, understanding ourselves, having our own personal experience is our karma for this lifetime. And for other people, understanding how their energy impacts others or how others energy impacts them or the dynamics of that energy or they're here to be of service in a transpersonal way that is their karma for this lifetime again neither is right or wrong they just are and the more awareness that we can bring to who we are and how our energy is here to show up and to help us to experience what our soul came here to experience, the more we're able to show up and bring our uniqueness, our unique puzzle piece to the tapestry of this collective. As an example of this, have you experienced being in a room or being around someone whose energy is needy? They are, they're trying too hard and you can feel the energy sucking out of everyone else and into that person. This is an example of someone who is putting on a mask, trying to be someone and show up in a way that isn't authentic, isn't true to their energy. And it takes a lot of energy from them, but it also takes a lot of energy from everyone else because they're feeding that insecurity and that mask. That energy is lying and 
we can all feel it. And frankly, it's exhausting. On the other end of the spectrum, think about someone who, when you're around them, like, you just feel grounded and safe. And there's, there's just this, like, intangible about their energy that is so soothing. And you can feel a, a confidence, a sense of ease that lives within them. We just naturally be, love being around those people. And it's an intangible. We, we don't know why. And a lot of the times what's so beautiful about that energy is they also aren't fully aware of how magnetic they are. They're just fully embodying their own natural energy, their natural gifts and strengths and talents. They embrace their energy flow. And this doesn't mean that they are a specific energy type or that they have a specific rooting. It's that they are living into and embracing who they naturally are. We can tell when someone is ashamed of a specific quality of their energy. And we can tell. We want to be around people who embrace who they are and the energy that they bring to the tapestry, to the puzzle of the collective. And again, again, this is not specific to a certain amount of def definition. This is not specific to a certain amount of openness. This is not specific to a certain energy type. This is about understanding and embracing, working with your own unique energy. That's it. I know, easier said than done. But that's the reality. The reality is who we are is how we show up. And when we're masking that, when we're ashamed of that, others feel it. So I invite you to learn more, embrace more, step into your unique energy. You, as you are, are here for a reason. Your energy is here presenting itself the way that it does for a reason. Embrace it, embody it, and lean towards the light, the empowered version of those themes. I will link the centers videos down in the description box. Also, as always, if you are interested in finding out more about your unique energy, you can find the information to work with me one-on-one -on -one in the description box below. If you like the video, click the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.